fresh meat. Let's open it up. The people who gave this to me still had the little pouch for the laptop. The laptop is in absolutely immaculate condition. There's like not even a fingerprint on it. I'll go ahead and open it up here if I can with one hand. Yes. Looks almost unused. Anyway, let me get everything out of the box here and we'll go over it quick. Every last slip of paper and everything is here, including the EPC easy to learn work and play, total bullshit, uh, 100 SHA XP support DVD revision 1.0. Kind of stupid considering it doesn't have an optical drive, but anyway. It's got an SD card slot headphone out, microphone in, two USB ports, I gather they're USB 2, uh, Ethernet port, nothing on the back, other side has VGA, USB Kensington lock port, and a really weird proprietary looking jack there for the power. Little RAM door here, and here is the information. This thing breaks. You're you're totally up the creek. I, I don't know why they ever did that. I guess for a diminutive laptop, they chose a diminutive barrel connector. I just plug the power cable in, and it powered up by itself. Let's see if we can hit F2 in time. No, it doesn't look like it. Well, it's still got its original load of XP. I suppose the flashing orange light indicates that the battery is charging. It seems to be loading up. Of course, a power light. It also has these two buttons. I have no idea what that button is for. That one, of course, is the power button. And, and... Wow, it just wore... It's like, it's like it was wiped. And reloaded. This is awesome! It's got... McCrap... You know, McCrappy on it. But wow, it just it just absolutely works. Touchpad. It's a little, a little wonky, but it works. So this is just going to be a quick look at this. Um, I'm going to reload the OS anyways if it has a recovery partition and try to make recovery disks should it have them. Specs on it, 1 gig of RAM, and it's an Intel Atom N270 1.6 gigahertz. Pretty damn nice. Let's go to Device Mangler. It's all clean with no bangs. So that's pretty sweet. Let's go and shut this down and just take a peek in the BIOS. We'll hit turn off and I'll power it back up. F2 for the BIOS. No, it doesn't like that kind. Great. Okay, hold the power button now. We'll try that kind again. Power on. Mash F2. Keep mashing F2. Now it likes it. Okay. Build date 2009. So this is uh, at this point seven years old. Time and date are wrong, but it's probably been disconnected for some time. Um, not much to see. There's a Seagate drive in it, 160 gig. We already know the processor and all the rest there. Everything else in here is fine. It's you've got USB 2, and everything in here is good. Security has nothing we need to do. Fortunately, no password. Boot device priority will change to CD-ROM, then removable, and then the hard drive, just in case one is plugged in. Uh, LAN boot ROM I usually enable 
and I hate these boot booster pieces of crap if the machine has that. Rather it completes its power on self test like it's supposed to. That's probably why it faltered to begin with. There's the boot agent. I hit tab, but I guess I was too late. I think this is something like F9 or something. Let's see, we'll just keep mashing F9 for recovery. I'm not going to do it now, because I don't have the time. This is just a quick look at this machine. Oh, looks like we got something. Okay, this seems to be rather normal. Yeah. Easy to learn, easy to work, easy to play. E PC Z. Could have been an easy PC, would have made more sense of these. So uh it's got a yes or a run the fuck away! Reboot <laughs> Okay, very good. Anyway, this is just a quick look at this. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but it seems to be in absolutely fine shape. Just to not cloud up the OS, I'll just go in the BIOS so we can power down. I'm not going to bother going into the boot agent because there's nothing to see there. And that's it. Power down, shut the lid. Uh, I guess we could see if it runs on battery. Let's try that before we go. And I guess we'll try the boot agent just for shits. Shift F10. Nothing to change there. Battery is probably stone cold dead, probably because the machine hasn't been used in a long time, but... Oh, it runs on battery. For at least a short time, so I guess if it charges up, it'll be good. Anyway, that's going to do it. Just a quick first look at the e PC from Asus. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.